The infrastructure market is a vital part of our daily lives, encompassing the physical systems that allow society to function. From clean water to electricity and transportation networks, it plays a crucial role in our well-being. To understand the complexity and scale of infrastructure, let's consider the example of a water supply system. Water starts its journey in storage reservoirs built to withstand earthquakes. It undergoes treatment in water treatment plants, utilizing pumps, tanks, and filtration processes to provide safe drinking water. The delivery of water to our homes involves an extensive network of pipes managed through maintenance and refurbishment programs. While we may not think about it, even the simple act of getting water out of the tap is a product of complex processes and collaboration between multiple different parties. Building and maintaining infrastructure follows a process involving project development, design and construction, and operation and maintenance. This requires collaboration between public and private sector players in the infrastructure market. Project developers secure funding, general contractors handle construction, and professional service companies offer expertise. Trade contractors specialize in specific tasks. While the categorization of companies in the infrastructure market may vary, understanding four basic types helps us navigate the industry. These four basic types are project developers and asset owners, general contractors, professional service companies, and trade contractors. These types provide a structure to explore the diverse roles within the market. Although other important players do exist, such as equipment suppliers, utilities, and third-party service providers. Project developers play a crucial role by deciding what to build, financing the project, and managing it when complete. They assess the market, conduct feasibility studies, develop business cases, procure contractors, and oversee operations. Developers can be public or private, focusing on societal benefits or financial returns. For example, the Melbourne Metro Tunnel was developed by the Victorian state government to address population growth and congested train lines. They conducted research, secured financing, selected contractors through tenders, and managed the project. The development process is similar across industries and companies, involving feasibility studies, contractor procurement, and operations and maintenance. Contractors are essential in the delivery phase of construction projects. They work for project developers and asset owners to design, construct, and maintain capital projects. Contractors have a skilled workforce that includes engineers, project managers, supervisors, and safety professionals who transform designs into finished products. They also handle maintenance tasks on behalf of asset owners. Contractors are engaged through contractual agreements to deliver specific scopes of works, which can vary greatly from project to project. They are responsible for detailed design, coordination of labor and materials, and proving the completion of works. Contracting models range from low-risk cost plus contracts to design and construct fixed-price contracts. Contractors are selected through tender processes, and after being awarded the contract, they take possession of the site and deliver the project according to the owner's requirements. Contractors vary in specialization and size, with Tier 1 contractors targeting mega-projects. An example of a contractor in action is UGL, which won the Engineering, Procurement and Construction EPC contract for the Mugger Lane Solar Park. Under the EPC contract, UGL designed, constructed, and provided maintenance services for the solar farm, assuming budget, schedule, and performance risks. UGL successfully completed the project within budget and met all performance standards. Infrastructure projects require a diverse range of specialized technical skills provided by professional service firms. These firms offer outsourced engineering problem solving rather than project delivery like contractors. They employ experts such as designers, engineers, architects, and surveyors who provide their expertise on a daily or hourly basis. Professional services firms support various stages of the asset lifecycle, including planning, design, delivery support, and asset management. They assist project developers with feasibility studies, concept design, and field investigations. During construction, they provide on-site representation to monitor contractor performance. Additionally, they offer services to asset owners for operational efficiency and the introduction of new technologies. Professional services firms focus on technical expertise while avoiding delivery risks. For example, SMEC supported the Lesotho Electricity Company in upgrading the electricity network for the Lestang diamond mine. SMEC conducted feasibility studies, developed detailed designs, facilitated contractor procurement, and provided contract management and on-site supervision for the upgrade project. Specialist trade contractors are important players in the infrastructure market. They are engaged by general contractors to deliver specific scopes of work in areas such as electrical, civil, mechanical, and more. Unlike general contractors who manage large projects and outsource most of the scope to subcontractors, trade contractors specialize in a particular trade and self-perform most of their works. As construction projects become more complex, 
general contractors often outsource certain scopes of work to trade contractors who have the necessary skills and resources. Trade contractors are engaged through competitive procurement processes and focus on delivering a fixed scope for the general contractor. They employ their own workforce, own the necessary equipment, and specialize in trades like piling, earthworks, electrical, roofing, plumbing, and more. An example of this relationship is the Nepian Hospital redevelopment, where CPB contractors, the general contractor, engaged Frieden, a specialist electrical and HVAC contractor, to complete the services for the new hospital. Trade contractors provide a range of goods and services, including on-site physical works, material supply, labour and plant hire. It's important to note that these companies work for the general contractor, not the project owner. 